Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for allowing us to be called the children of God. We thank you that we are legitimate children of your kingdom. We thank you for the breath that we breathe every day. We thank you for allowing us to come boldly before the throne of grace and make our requests known to you. We thank you for talking to us. We thank you for walking with us. We thank you for holding our hand. We thank you for being our provision. We thank you for being our protector. We thank you for being our inspiration. We thank you for leading us, being that lamp to our foot in the light to our pathway. We thank you for being our armor where we can reside and dwell in your secret place, most high God, under your shadow in Jesus' name. We thank you for being our disciplinarian when we need chastisement. We thank you for being the one who reveals what we need to see. We thank you for removing scales from our eyes. We thank you for being our strength. We thank you for being our rock. We thank you for being our fortress. We thank you for being our friend. We thank you for being everything that we need in this life. And when we enter into eternity, oh God of Zion, there is a lot that is going on in the world and the days are grossly wicked, Heavenly Father. Lord, the devil ain't letting up, Father. And we as your children don't let up either. Though he slay us, yet shall we trust in you, Heavenly Father, our Redeemer, Comforter, Comfort, and Friend. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus for your love that is unmeasurable, your love, the love that you you are, you are love. We can rest assured that you do care, even though external and for some internal conflict exist. Heavenly Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for allowing us to be tried in the fire so that you can provide for us, strengthen us, comfort us, build us up. And Father, bring us through as pure gold every single time. We thank you, Father. We thank you for for allowing conflict in our life so that we can overcome, so that you can make a reply to the one who constantly fights us in the name of Jesus, trying to stir up mischief and trouble. We thank you for who you are. For the weapons that we fight are not the weapons, Heavenly Father, of this world. Instead, they are the divine power, Yahweh, to demolish strongholds and arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of you, Yahweh. We take captive in Jesus' name every thought and make it obedient to Christ. We believe the report of you, Lord. We believe, Yahweh, every word that proceeds from your mouth. And we bless your holy name. Father, stabilize the thoughts of those whose mind is here, there, everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over our mind. We plead the blood of Jesus over our atmosphere. We plead the blood of Jesus over our dreams. We plead the blood of Jesus over our body, our mind, soul, and spirit. We plead the blood of Jesus against the enemy and those that he used for wickedness and outright evil in Jesus name we plead the blood of Jesus these monitoring demons father that like to watch our progress that likes to keep us father under deep surveillance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ blood of Jesus is against them in the mighty name of Jesus we destroy every stronghold in the name of Jesus we destroy every work of the devil we thank you Jesus for what you've done for us on the cross through your death burial and resurrection the devil is already defeated in the name of Jesus when he rise against us heavenly father one way oh God of Zion he's got to flee in the mighty name of Jesus seven ways 
no weapon that is formed against us according to Isaiah 54 17 will be able to prosper even information that these demons want to confer with other wicked spirits about and father the devil Satan himself may all of their works be destroyed by fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Lord Jehovah it is you that fight for us in the name of Jesus we don't need to fight in the name of Jesus this battle because the battle belongs to you Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus oh God of Zion you are the one that ultimately fights for us and you ultimately equip us for warfare for combat we are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ your children legitimate children of the kingdom of God we can always get up we'll always bounce back in the name of Jesus the devil can only go so far God of Zion in the mighty name of Jesus lift your children lift their spirit and destroy the works of the devil that's what Jesus came to do is destroy the works of the devil to set the captives free in Jesus name Heavenly Father calls us to call on the name of Jesus calls us to continue to stand firm in the faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ though we are tested on every side though we are tried on every side we win in the name of Jesus ultimately and we bless Heavenly Father your holy name we put on the whole armor of God according to Ephesians 6 11 through 13 that we may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the cosmic powers over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places and therefore we take up the whole armor of God that we'll be able able to withstand in the evil day and having done all we shall in the name of Jesus continue to stand firm for though we walk in the flesh we are not waging war against the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh but they have divine power through you Yahweh to destroy these strongholds in the name of Jesus oh father in the name of Jesus your word according to 2 Corinthians 10 and three through five is true and we thank you in Jesus name that your word has all power your word is the power that saves souls your word is the power that liberates captives your word is the power that imparts strength your word is the power that gives us wisdom the word is the power that is life in the name of Jesus for the hearer endure and death for the wicked one your word father is true we cling on to your word heaven Heavenly Father for dear life in the name of Jesus we be of a sober mind it seems like the enemy hits Heavenly Father so many it seems that the enemy is in a boxing ring with your people Heavenly Father and some of them are tired we pray in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus that you lift God their hands lift their hands to fight back Father through the blood of Jesus Christ through the power of the cross of Calvary through through you Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ we know ultimately again that it is you that fight for us Heavenly Father too many people are sitting back Heavenly Father just taking God the lashes of the enemy Heavenly Father because they've grown weary but in the name of Jesus we reverse the spirit of weariness we command in the name of Jesus we pull on the anointing of you Lord God Yahweh in the name of Jesus we pull Pull on your anointing Heavenly Father fire of God in the name of Jesus anointed one in Jesus Christ's name to strengthen right now their bones strengthen their spirit strengthen their mind in Jesus name to fight back they can't give up now in Jesus name they've come too far and the devil is a defeated foe in the name of Jesus and he only has a short time in Jesus name so he's turned Turning up the heat trying to take out all that he can tripping them up confusing their mind stirring up trouble in the name of Jesus Christ calls your people father to remember Yahweh that if they are going through father you won't put on them more than they can bear father you've already caused a way of an escape father whatever may be going on calls us to learn the lesson that we need to learn and endure we've got to endure hardness as a good soul 
soldier as your word says in the name of Jesus it's not going to be easy but we will not compromise we don't have to compromise father heal us to the core in the name of Jesus raise us up father as the warriors of Zion that we are the children of light the children of the kingdom of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ calls our mind according to first Peter 5 8 to be sober heavenly father God in the name of Jesus I'm calling on your name Yahweh in the name of Jesus Jesus son of God I'm calling on your name Holy Spirit we're calling on you in the name of Jesus to strengthen the minds to calm the minds to settle the minds in the name of Jesus so that your people the people of God can be sober in Jesus Christ's name not tossed to and fro here there everywhere in the name of Jesus that's a tactic of the enemy to get our minds so bogged down so cloudy so irritated that we aren't able to think in the name of Jesus but we send the blood of Jesus Christ we send the fire of the Holy Ghost we send the fire of Yahweh in the name of Jesus the resurrecting power of Jesus Christ against these mind-numbing demons against the adversary against these monitors that love to watch and surveil and to track progress in the name of Jesus father of Zion Lord Jehovah I'm praying father that you keep the walls of fire your fire consuming fire that you are Holy Spirit consuming fire that you are Yahweh in the name of Jesus Christ to make it God known that you are God and to surround your children with the fire to keep the enemy out according to your will in the name of Jesus to blind monitors watchers lurkers lookers in the name of Jesus Christ these quiet slick sneaky demons Heavenly Father that like to come in Father at one's weakest point Heavenly Father or when we are sleeping Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus who calls us Father to be awake in spirit even when we're sleeping continuously Father to the point that we are aware because Father we've obeyed you we are obeying you we're walking in your light we're believing you Father in the name of Jesus and because we are prayerful we can watch Heavenly Father these monitors that try to watch us Father you reveal everything that we need to know but some of us Father are missing it in the name of Jesus because we're being carried away by the cares of the world the trials of life the issues of life enemies rising against us Father calls us not to focus all our attention on the enemy help us to be aware mindful sober in the mighty name of Jesus but to fix our eyes and gaze and sight on you in the name of Jesus keep our eyes on the cross of Calvary in the mighty name of Jesus we dwell in your secret place Heavenly Father you are our shelter you are our shadow that covers us Heavenly Father from the wiles and the fiery darts of the wicked one in the name of Jesus we command those darts in the name of Jesus aimed for us shot at us to in the mighty name of Jesus turn back around and consume the devil in the name of Jesus and his fallen angels may every work every word curse in the name of Jesus every deceitful counterfeit work in the spiritual realm in the name of Jesus be null and void be destroyed in the name of Jesus we thank you father that the devil is already cursed in the name of Jesus we don't have to curse him he's already cursed father the death cloud is already over his head in the mighty name of Jesus and them fallen angels in the name of Jesus we pray for the people that he uses God that they repent father before it is too late in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you Lord Jehovah for delivering us in the name of Jesus from the snare of the fowler and every single deadly pestilence in the name of Jesus God when you say in Jesus name that you will cover us with your opinions that's what you mean father when you say that under your wings we will find refuge that's what you mean father you are faithful in Jesus name you are the rock in the name of Jesus and we thank you for being our shield and buckler we are not afraid of the terror by night 
nor of the arrow that flies by day. We are not afraid. The wicked is the one, Father, that runs when no one pursues. But the righteous, Lord Jehovah, your legitimate children, we are bold as lions in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, that the devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, may Yahweh be exalted and every enemy be defeated. In the name of Jesus, may Yahweh be exalted and every enemy be defeated. You are the light, Jehovah. Come in in the name of Jesus, even in our homes, Father. Come in in the name of Jesus, in our bodies, the temple that houses the Holy Ghost and clean up, expose whatever is happening, Heavenly Father. God, evil spirits, wickedness all around us, Father. Oh, God of Zion, but you are the roach repellent in the name of Jesus. These demonic roaches, Heavenly Father, disease, filthy Heavenly Father, in excess it seems like they multiply. But oh, God of Zion, just as the children of Israel was, Heavenly Father, oppressed by Pharaoh in the name of Jesus, oppressed God by the taskmasters, oppressed God by the Egyptians, Lord Jehovah. Heavenly Father, the more the Egyptians oppress Israel, Heavenly Father, the more the Israelites multiplied and spread, and then the more the Egyptians became alarmed according to Exodus 1:12. And Father, I ask in Jesus' name that you help your people, Father, understand this, Heavenly Father. God, the enemy is aware of growth in the kingdom, Heavenly Father. Though it seems like on the outside he is winning, Heavenly Father. He is a loser, Heavenly Father. Always has been, always will be. God, the children of God are growing. We are multiplying, Heavenly Father. We are building your kingdom, Father. And the enemy knows he can sense it, he can taste it, he can smell it. So he's trying to touch your children. But Father, in your word, you said, touch not God, my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Your children, your chosen ones are your anointed ones. They are your children that you've called, Father, by your name. And it's a dangerous thing, Heavenly Father, for the enemy, God, to touch us in the name of Jesus Christ. Call somebody that is crying tears, your children, if they're feeling weary or weak, Heavenly Father, scorned or torn down in the name of Jesus, to remember that they are special, to remember that they are your anointed ones, Father, and that you will repay the enemy, Father, for every tear that they've had to cry in the name of Jesus. Calls them, Father, and remind them, God, to hold on, Father. Change is coming, Heavenly Father, to hold on, God, because because change on the cross had already come and it's just a matter of time before God you manifest yourself in the name of Jesus that thing they've been praying over that thing God they've been warring over that thing Heavenly Father that they've been believing you for that thing God they've been doubting you for Heavenly Father being unstable in the mind Father kind of believing but then they don't believe and they don't know what to believe oh God of Zion in the name of Jesus stabilize their thoughts and in Jesus Christ's name because God you've given them authority to tread on serpents you've given them authority to tread on scorpions and over all the power of the wicked one according to Luke 10 19 and nothing heavenly father in the name of Jesus shall hurt them father nothing shall hurt them Lord remind them nothing shall hurt them father in the name of Jesus because you've got them heavenly father you will never leave us father Father, you'll never forsake us, Father. You are with us every day of our life, Father. You'll be there when we take our last breath in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that the information the enemy tries to use against us, the information that the enemy tries to steal from us will not work. We decree and declare his works are null and void in Jesus Christ's name. Father, you'll cause our enemies who rise against us to be defeated before us. They may come out one way against us father but they've got to flee before us seven ways in Jesus name according to Deuteronomy 28 7 for anyone you said father who has been born of God you Yahweh overcomes the world calls them to remember they are more than overcomers in the name of Jesus and this is the victory that overcomes the world oh father God of Zion it is father our faith 
in Jesus' name. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. We believe you, Father. Every word that comes out of your mouth, for it is he that overcomes the world, the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. We thank you, Father, that we believe you according to John 5, 4 through 5. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ that God, these weapons formed against us will never, ever, ever prosper in Jesus Christ's name. For you, Heavenly Father, are our Son. Lord Jehovah, you are our shield. And it is you, Yahweh, that bestows favor on us and honor. And no good thing will you withhold from us who walk uprightly in the name of Jesus, according to Psalms 8411. So no matter what the enemy tries to do or these monitoring demons in the name of Jesus, it just won't work, Heavenly Father. Whatever information they're trying to steal, it won't work. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you for your oil from heaven to fall down, to drip, Father, on our head, Heavenly Father, down to our feet in the name of Jesus. Anoint our homes, Father. Anoint our villages, Heavenly Father. Anoint, God, where we dwell, our atmospheres in the name of Jesus Christ. Anoint everything, Father, according to your will that we touch, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, anoint our dreams as we sleep heavenly father anoint our children and families father anoint god your children all over the world north south east and west keep your hedge of protection all around us in jesus name whatever the enemy has stolen in jesus name he must repay heavenly father a hundredfold according to your word in the name of jesus we are here in jesus name to collect payment we want it back now in the name of Jesus. Everything, Heavenly Father, the enemy has stolen from us according to your will in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, Heavenly Father, for our own neglect of the spiritual things, Heavenly Father, our personal relationship with you, our prayer lives, Father, keeping our mouth closed when you say keep it closed, but we want to speak up and defend ourselves, only adding more flames to the fire, gasoline, God, to the fire. Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Forgive us for doubting, Heavenly Father. Forgive us for our sins, Father, and shortcomings against you and man. Father, calls us to humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Yahweh, so that you can lift us up in the mighty name of Jesus. Calls us to be humble before you and confess our sins, confess our faults in honesty and purity so that you can come in and heal and deliver us, so that you can forgive us, Heavenly Father, so that you can place us, God, on the right path father calls us God anybody that's going the wrong way to reroute in the name of Jesus I speak reroute in the spirit I speak reroute in the spirit realm in the name of Jesus reroute in first second third heaven in the name of Jesus back to the father Yahweh in the mighty name of Jesus your will for our lives heavenly father we are not our own we cannot do what we want to do father Lord God you see everything the beginning, the end, everything in between, Heavenly Father. You know the outcome, Father. Calls us to trust you, Father, with all of our heart, Father, and stop leaning to our own understanding and acknowledge you in everything, God, all of our ways so that you can direct our path. And when you direct our path, even if we can't see one foot in front of the other, Heavenly Father, even if we can't see the steps, God, that we take, Father, in the name of Jesus, calls us to trust you father when we're blindfolded father knowing that you will guide us and lead us along the way in the right place at the right time and you will never be late father even though sometimes we delay things you've already calculated all of that because you know us father we will be right where we need to be on time remind somebody of this father they overthink everything too much father calls them to rest calls us to to rest in you, Father, that are overthinkers, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Heavenly Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for the victory in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, when we are afflicted of the enemy. We thank you, God, that we will get pleasure and joy, Father, out of seeing the enemy defeated once and for all. We get pleasure and joy, Father, out of seeing him be defeated even now, Heavenly Father. 
God, he thinks his anger is brewing and burning against us, Father. It is nothing in comparison, Lord Jehovah, for the anger that you have towards the enemy and these fallen demonic angels in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, call your people to hold on, Father. You're telling us to hold on, Father. Don't give up in the name of Jesus. Keep on pushing. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. Keep on pushing. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. Keep on pushing. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. The race is not giving to the powerful in the name of Jesus. Those that are swift in the name of Jesus. Those that are strong. But the race God is giving to the one who can endure to the very end through it all in the name of Jesus. Encourage your people, Lord Jehovah, in the Lord. Encourage them, Father. It's working, Father, for their good. It's working, Father, but they've got to believe you, Father. Exterminate in the name of Jesus all of these demons, Heavenly Father. Blind their eyes in the name of Jesus Christ, Massly Father, in the name of Jesus. Stick your foot out, Lord Jehovah. Trip them up every time they come against us in the name of Jesus. Anytime they come in to rob us or to blind us in the name of Jesus, to steal from us, Heavenly Father, mess it all up and frustrate it. We demand and command a spirit of frustration to overtake and paralyze these demons in the mighty name of Jesus. Gross confusion, mass confusion, mass blindness in the name of Jesus, mass failure in Jesus' name. Their wiles have never worked and it will not work, Father. Ultimately, in the mighty name of Jesus, because you are our source and our sustainer, blessed be the name of Jehovah in the mighty name of Jesus. We trust in you. We believe in you, Father, and we thank you that you're doing this thing. We thank you that our names are written in the Lamb's God book of life. We thank you that the devil is subject, Father, to us. We are higher than him. We are higher than these fallen angels, just a little bit lower, Heavenly Father, than your angels, Lord Jehovah, your righteous angels, those that had sense enough not to follow the devil, Father, when he took a third of the angels from heaven because he wanted the glory, honor, and praise and worship unto himself. He has lost his mind. And that same spirit, Heavenly Father, is rapid in this world. People are prideful, puffed up, Heavenly Father. They want worship unto themselves, Father, but they have no power to raise anybody from the dead. They have no heaven or hell to put anybody in. They're scared for their own lives, Heavenly Father. Oh, God of Zion, show yourself mighty to your children and the enemy and show yourself strong. We believe you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for covering us in your shadow. Thank you for covering us in your glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that the light on our life shall be so bright that God, when we show up, God, that when the enemy even thinks about coming after us in the name of Jesus, the light, the radiant glory of you, Yahweh, shall massly blind them in the name of Jesus. They can't touch us in the mighty name of Jesus. If they do touch us, Father, it is because you've allowed for a season, for a moment, and then, God, you're going to pull that rug right from under the enemy when he thinks that he has ground in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, just as you told Peter, upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall never prevail against we the children of God and we are not surprised father when the enemy disguises himself Satan masquerades as an angel of light father calls us not to be deceived calls the elect ones your chosen ones your anointed ones your legitimate children not to be deceived heavenly father by the masquerading of the devil and the people that he uses as angels of light heavenly father According to 2 Corinthians 11, 14, Father, we know you, Yahweh. We know your voice, Heavenly Father. We know you, God. We will not follow the stranger. We put a block in the spirit of anybody looking backwards in the name of Jesus that belonged to you, Father, being led to the slaughter. We decree and declare it won't be. We cancel it now in first, second, third heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. Oh, God of Zion, you will grant the enemies who rise up against us 
defeat. Hiya. Jesus, thank you, Father, for granting them defeat in the name of Jesus. And they will be defeated before us in the mighty name of Jesus, according to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 7. So, God, we put on the full armor of God so that we can take our stand against the schemes of the devil, according to Ephesians 6, 11. In the name of Jesus, we want everything you have for us, Heavenly Father. Some things we admit, Father, we lost because of negative. We admit, Father, some things we lost because of disobedience. God, some things we lost, Father, we admit because of self-sabotage, standing in our own way, stubbornness, Father, in the name of Jesus. But we thank you, Father, even in that it worked together and it is working together for our good. And Father, you shall restore unto us, God, a hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in due season, everything due to us, Heavenly Father. And for me, many, God, their season is now. It's just a matter of time, Father, before that thing manifests. Oh, God of Zion, we cancel the wiles of the enemy. In first, second, third heaven, we decree it and declare it so. We cancel in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree in first, second, third heaven, backlash and retaliation of the enemy. He's trying to intimidate your people when they take steps for you and steps towards you, steps of faith, action, Heavenly Father. Father, behind their confession. He's trying to intimidate them, Father, and stir up trouble, God, as punishment for obeying you. But I decree and declare, we decree and declare as your chosen ones in the name of Jesus, he will be and is and his demons recipients of everything, Father. They're trying to sick against us in the name of Jesus. I see you, Holy Spirit. I see you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you. We glorify you. You. We thank you, Father. We praise you. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship you, Lord Jehovah, mighty God you are, everlasting Father you are. Thank you, Good Shepherd. Thank you, Master. We lift your name up in heaven. We lift your name up above all of our enemies. In the name of Jesus, light of Christ, come in and rescue us. Light of Christ, blind the enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the works of the enemy fails. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. We submit, Heavenly Father, ourselves unto you, God. We resist the devil in the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, he's got to flee from us, according to James 4, verse 7, in Jesus Christ's name. So God, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus, and you shall come to us, Father. We wash, Lord Jehovah, our hands of sin and we purify God our hearts in the name of Jesus and we give you our double minds our double ways in the mighty name of Jesus crisscross thoughts God stabilize Jesus we stabilize our mind in the mighty name of Jesus in and through Christ Jesus we thank you that nothing shall be impossible with you Yahweh God according to Luke 137 raise up their faith heavenly father faith is required lord you're saying in the name of jesus christ for no word of god will ever fail you yahweh no word not one will ever fail in the name of Jesus. And Father, cause them to believe it. Help them to believe it in the name of Jesus. Help them to take up the authority that you've given them in the name of Jesus. Cause them to be sober of mind in the name of Jesus. Cause us not to be sleep, God, in the spirit, but awake, Heavenly Father, very awake and alert in the name of Jesus and sober. Cause our walk before you, Lord Jehovah, to be blameless. And we thank you, God, that we are born of of you Jehovah according to first John 5 and being that we are born of you Lord God the rebirth the new birth in Christ Jesus from darkness to light that we are living in now your light that we are victorious in the name of Jesus we've overcome the world in the mighty name of Jesus and we believe you son of God in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you Heavenly Father that we don't fight with our mouths and hands Heavenly Father against our brothers and sisters Father but 
we fight the unseen world in the name of Jesus, the devil, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, through faith and through worship of you, Yahweh, through obedience in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for binding the hands of the enemy, binding the feet of the enemy, binding the eyes in the name of Jesus, blinding them, Heavenly Father, on every level, all level in the name of Jesus, paralyzing them in the mighty name of Jesus so they can't move in the name of Jesus Christ according to your will in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you you are God Yahweh and beside you there will never be any other we love you and we thank you Heavenly Father we bless your holy name and we receive now your fire that we need consuming fire you are burn up those things that are not of you father and ignite us on fire to keep fighting the good fight of faith in the name of Jesus oh God of Zion we bless you father God of Zion we thank you in the name of Jesus glory be unto the Lamb of God in the name of Jesus cover us father keep us Lord and we shall be satisfied in you in the name of Jesus making our calling and election very sure we know who our father is and in you father we can do all things. We worship you. We thank you for canceling every attack of the enemy from ultimately heavenly father prevailing over us. Never, not a chance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, father, for power and strength. Thank you for fighting the fight for us. Thank you for dispatching your angels all around us to keep us, to help us, to lead us, to guide us, to protect us, and to fight, father, the enemy for us as we do what you say do let no one be intimidated father i hear that in my spirit let no one be intimidated father because the enemy is threatening them from doing what you said for doing what you told them to do it's all a trick of the enemy we shall press in the name of jesus and endure press in the name of jesus and endure and we decree and declare it so and we love god not our own life unto death if that's what it takes father we're willing god to give up our life for the sake of the gospel of christ in the name of jesus so we thank you lord for hearing our prayer thank you god for hearing our cry thank you god for answering us in the name of jesus we decree and declare that it is so nothing lacking nothing missing nothing broken it is so we sign this prayer in Jesus' name. And we seal it, God, in Jesus' precious blood. Amen.